I feel like I've seen so much of Taipei. I've had the best time today. I am so in love with this city already. Hi everyone, I'm in Taipei, Taiwan, and I have all day free and I'm really excited to go and explore this amazing city and bring you guys along with me. So first up is going to be breakfast. Apparently breakfast here is often pretty like cheese and egg heavy, which are two of my favorite foods. This place has really good reviews, so I am excited. So many options on the menu and it's really convenient there's like english as well which is great i got the pancake with cheese and a soy milk and it was only 80 dollars so super cheap looks amazing i love that everywhere you go here you seem to get these little like sealed top drinks like bubble teas which is cool oh yum it's good it's like slightly sweetened this looks so good and so cheesy and eggy which is everything i was hoping for that. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god. Mm. It's got like broccoli and veggies through it as well. And that bread is so good. It's like flaky and layered. It's really good. That breakfast was delicious. And now I'm fueled for the rest of the day. It's such a warm and beautiful day here today. It's amazing. It's been raining a lot of this week and pretty overcast. So nice to get some good weather. It's so cool that every set of lights has like a countdown timer. It makes things so much easier. I wish every city had these. I'm just walking towards where the Elephant Peak hike is. There's a really beautiful park on the way through and I've been so surprised by how green Taipei is. Like there is a lot of parks and green spaces and things and this is just beautiful that we're like a 10 minute walk from Taipei 101. This walk is so beautiful. I'm pretty puffed. It's all stairs. It's all like paved, so it's not too bad, but it's steep. <laughs> I've made it to the top. The view is just beautiful and it's not too busy up here either. There were some places on the way up, like lookouts, they were way busier. Incredible. It's such a beautiful city. There's so many beautiful lookouts along this walk. It's 100% worth doing. Lots of little like trails off it as well. So you could totally spend like easily half a day here just exploring around and walking distance from like Taipei 101. Very cool city. So apparently Taiwan has more convenience stores per capita than anywhere in the world. We know that like Korea and Japan are like mad about convenience stores. Taiwan is so good for it too. So I need a drink after going for that big walk, but I wanted to show you some of the cool stuff you can get here. The convenience food section is crazy. There's all these like bento boxes and meals and they have a microwave at the front. So they'll like warm anything up for you. The drink section is crazy. Then there's also the fridge drink section too. And just aisles and aisles of cool snacks. Alright, I'm gonna get a new cold. And this juice looks pretty interesting. Lychee and strawberry. Alright, I've wandered over to Taipei 101 because I'm excited to look in it. It's a big shopping centre. It looks on the map like there's heaps of malls that connect, so lots of shopping. And I've heard it referred to as like the Times Square of Taipei. So let's go shopping. feels like such a fancy shopping center. Look at those list of stores. Oh my God, it's beautiful. There's all these overpasses out from Taipei 101 that connect to other malls. So I've just left one. I don't know where I'm going, but we'll see. There's heaps of cool stuff to see around here by the looks of things. I've come across the shopping center called ATT for fun. And downstairs is all these food trucks and like live music and lots of cool stuff going on. And it's like the middle of the day on a Wednesday, so it's very cool. It is so hard to capture the size and like scale of this area. There's just massive malls on every block, all connected by overpasses. This is incredible. If you're into shopping, you could spend so long here. Like they're all full of like department stores, 
little independent stores, there's food places everywhere. There's so much to look at. I love the feeling of this city already. It feels like there's always things going on. Like it's literally three o'clock on a Wednesday and you walk through and there's music and performers and so much like happening. So not far from all of the malls around Taipei 101 is the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall. It's absolutely huge and just beautiful. Like the color of the roof is so striking and it's on these grounds. The park is amazing. There's all these huge trees and sculptures and statues and it seems like it's a really nice place just to sit and chill or walk around and explore. It's way, way bigger than I expected for it to be. A lot of the memorial area was under construction, but it was still beautiful to see the big building. So I'm going to get a train now, the MRT. Looks like there's train lines all over the city, which is super convenient. So I'm right near a station. I'm gonna head over towards like the Western side of the city. It's like a temple and stuff I wanna see there. Let's try to navigate the trains. So it's super handy. There's these machines at every station and you can buy a card and it's hundred dollars and you can top it up and you can use it at all the stations and for buses. And some stores accept payment using it as well, which is really handy. And just tap and go. It is so crazy that they literally have to the second times for trains. Everything's so well labeled and color coded for all the train lines, which is amazing. And it's all got English on it as well. So super easy to navigate. That train was so chill and so easy and nice and cozy and I got a seat and I just got to where the temple is. So how exciting. I went to the bathrooms here as well and I noticed that half of them are like Western toilets and half are like the Asian sort of squat toilets. This is so wholesome. This park is full of like older people playing some kind of game with like tokens and stuff. I don't know what it is. If you know, let me know. I'd love to look it up. Very cool. Everyone's getting really into it. There's so many temples around here and it's cool, it's all really well signed with like those sign posts and little like directions and stuff. So these temple gates are beautiful, all the detail and the colours and everything. so beautiful the waterfall here is amazing it's massive and there's heaps of big fish in there like lots of koi so you can just kind of stand and watch the koi it's a beautiful entrance so now i'm inside it's actually pretty busy there's quite a few people here it looks like a lot of like locals or people praying um, and some tourists around as well it was free to enter which is great um, and there's also a lot of like plates of like food and things i'm assuming that they're like offerings potentially it's very cool uh, lots of incense you can smell it in the air and you can hear the big gong from inside the temple <laughs> incredible to be here during a service and to hear the music and the bells and the gongs and hear everybody sing like a lot of there's like a lot of these like street slash evening markets that start to pop up out now I got this it's like golden watermelon juice so oh my god it kind of just tastes like watermelon juice, maybe a bit like sweeter. It was really good. This other guy was so nice. People are lovely. I'm at the Boki Liao block, which may be bad pronunciation, but it's an old 18th century building. It's now being converted to like an art space and an educational center. So it looks like there's lots of little stalls and cafes and stuff here to check out. So. <laughs> But a bunch of people doing Jump swing dancing. Bands, this is the most wholesome thing I've seen. Everyone's having such a great time. The architecture is just breathtaking too. That old like 18th century vibe of the red bricks and the sculptures and statues. It's such an awesome place. The art exhibitions here are beautiful. It's so cool. This is like alternative culture here that I've just stumbled upon. Oh, they're dancing. <laughs> this is awesome.
Any machines here are amazing. Look, for like the, the phone protector. I think that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you get like photos printed there. I think you can like customized chopsticks at this one. Crazy. Was there like a coconut one one? An orange vending machine is full of guitar strings. How very specific and random. I just got the train over towards the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. This place looks amazing so far. The map is massive. It looks like there's the big Memorial Hall in the center. There's also gardens and lakes and ponds. So I'm looking forward to exploring. There's also a concert hall and a national theater here as well. These grounds are amazing and just beautiful. It's very cool. This is like in the middle of the city. I'm glad that I stopped off here. It was 100% worth seeing. The Memorial Hall is grand and incredible, but the gardens and the grounds are really beautiful. So definitely worth coming and having a wander around and explore. I've just exited at gate one because I want to go and see the Red House, but oh my God, this place is awesome. There's all these massive buildings and billboards and I feel like I'm in like Japan or New York or something. This is very cool. The Red House is beautiful. It's such a cool building. And there's all these really cute little quirky shops all around it as well, like craft shops and record shops and, and like a lot of sex shops as well. I love that this is such a gay, friendly, like pride positive place. There's a huge rainbow flag there, which is very cool. And this is a huge pedestrian street. There is so much shopping. This is massive. This is so different to other areas of Taipei I've seen today. I love like how much there is to explore in this city. I feel like being in Taiwan means I really just need to get a bubble tea. This place seems popular, so I'm gonna go for it. And I can't wait. This bubble tea place is packed and I totally get why. They hand make all of their pearls there. They roast them in front of you and then create it all for you. And it was only a hundred dollars and I got some special thing. I don't exactly know what it is. Brown sugar maybe. Let's see, but I cannot wait. I've got my tea. It looks like they did like a creme brulee thing on top, which is very cool. I'm excited to try it. Mm. Oh my God. I've had a lot of bubble tea in my life. This is by far the best. It's got like crunchy caramelized sugar on the top, the pearls in it. That's awesome. That is really, really good. I just tucked into one of these shops and they sell like these bubble tea holders which is the cutest idea ever isn't this just the cutest thing they really are bubble tea crazy in this country i'm so here for it there's some signs saying this is tattoo street which sounds really cool and there's lots of like posters and signs of pictures of tattoos awesome um, it's really cool you can feel that there's like a big alternative scene here between like the shops and Tattoos, there's lots of live music venues that I've been seeing around. Like, it's awesome. I love a city with like self expression. There's so many claw machine places here, and I just like, oh, I'll try to win this duck. And I did. That is amazing. I'll hang him off my bag. <laughs> I've just stumbled upon what I think is the cutest 7 Eleven I've ever seen in my life. the walls and everything is Sanrio. Like this is amazing, the detail and I'm so impressed. This is very cute. There's so many alleyways with adorable shops and so many things to look at. It's really cool now it's like dark and it's lighting up. Like it's really coming to life and it's getting far busier. It's so cool. I'm really like stoked that there's a place like this in Taiwan. I did not expect this so like cute and bright and exciting. I'm very happy. I heard that scallion pancakes were a really big thing to have when you're here, so I found a place that's super busy and I've just ordered one and I cannot wait. Oh my god, 
check that out. That is crazy. This looks insane. I got the cheese and egg one. Uh, it's all like cooked into it. Mm. Oh my god. That is delicious. You can taste like the green onions, like the scallions in there. Wow, that bread is like flaky and oily. Like it's honestly like a really good kind of fluffier version of a roti. Of good. I'm really glad I got this. It's also got like a soy sauce in it and I got a spicy sauce. So it is a bit hot, kind of peppery. Oh, wow. This is great. Amazing. God, check this out. That's incredible. It's like omelet. It's like all flaky. So tasty. This has been an absolutely crazy day. I'm going to head home. I feel like I've seen so much of Taipei. I've had the best time today. I am so in love with this city already. I want to thank you guys so much for coming along with me today and checking out this amazing city. Let me know below if there's anything else you think I should see. I'm here for like another month, so heaps of time. And if you have enjoyed today's video, if you could like it below, that is awesome. And subscribing to my channel means the world to me as well. Otherwise, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.